Chair, you have a choice yep. right now to be uh, a pioneer yes. in standing against the atrocities that are happening against these children, or you can wait. Yes. Wayfair workers decide to take a stand, walking off the job to protest the company selling furniture to a migrant detention facility. WBZ's Mike Cross is live in Boston tonight with the details. Mike? Paula, there were hundreds of people at this afternoon's protest. It was hard to tell how many of them are Wayfair employees. Many of them had T-shirts and badges with the company's logo on them, but most declined to speak on camera with us. Instead, they left that to their colleagues who helped organize the walkout. <laughs> Wayfair employees stream out of the company's Copley Place headquarters just before 1.30 this afternoon. Many were silent holding signs as they headed toward Copley Square. There, the protests swelled and got loud with speakers and music. This is, this is amazing. Wayfair employee Tom Brown says his colleagues were outraged last week after learning furniture was sold to detention centers for migrant children. An employee-driven petition calling for that to end was started. Then came today's walkout. For me personally, I'm not a manager, but for me personally, there's more to life than profit. The big demands are we want them to stop doing business with this contractor. Wayfair worker Madeline Howard says they're also asking for a business code of ethics and for the detention center sale profits to be donated to a nonprofit supporting immigrants. A hundred thousand dollar donation to the Red Cross. Great. It's not what we asked for. Hundreds showed up for the protest who weren't even Wayfair employees. Yeah, I just wanted to come out in support of the Wayfair employees. I admire them for using their position of power and their voice to speak up. Wayfair would not comment on today's walkout. We're live in Boston. I'm Mike LaCrosse at WBC News.